Hello everyone, Jerry Scudisa here. Today I'm gonna talk about Ghostbusters 2 for Nintendo. I remember when I was little, I loved playing this game, uh, and I still did when I had my my Nintendo. However, um, I don't have a Nintendo, and I used to have it for my my emulators, but. Uh, I'm gonna have to get it back somehow. Anyway, this game does follow the movie, as you can see. Uh, the stages are the slime uh, stage, where you use Ray as your first choice. And the whole point is uh, make it through to the following stage and so on. Uh, the second stage is um, <coughs> the card stage. I love the first one because you're in a more open um, um place. You run into ghosts and slimers and the object of this stage is avoiding those at all costs. We also have traps and and um, uh, uh, <coughs> things that will block you. And for this level, you can update your um, uh, slime. Um, Power, but on the car Lima. Then the following is the courthouse, which you gotta go through the court uh, the courthouse and um, and do the same as the uh, the other stages, avoiding the slimers, the ghosts, or whatever tries to stop you from advancing. Following by the second card stage, which I kind of don't like because if you think the first one's hard, this one is more narrow and you have to do more jumping. Not to mention the whole um, uh, slimer uh, thing. Well, that's the list of your problems. Then, of course, you get afterwards get abandoned rail station, which I think is cool. You see parts of trains trying to get you. Then you reach the Liberty Statue, uh, Statue of Liberty. Uh, on this one you're walking in the ocean, which is pretty cool. Then you get the other one, which you finally reach the city, and your final stage, of course, is the museum, in which you have to <coughs> face Beagle, the Carpathian. However, uh, it's not what you can expect, but it was a good game at the time. Now, <coughs> there were uh, there were issues with the controls, and <coughs> especially with the uh, select and start button. Well, these are the controls. The arrows, you know, you do get the. Um, <coughs> everything uh, back forth up down the weapon uh, your weapons <coughs> a button to shoot b buttons for jumping there was a complaint about both the start and select buttons which 
apparently they didn't do nothing. Uh, no, the start button. If you're if you're playing a normal stage where Dura goes faster, what the start button will do is trigger the trap, and you gotta move. Otherwise, you're gonna be stung by your own traps. It's it's weird. I agree with the select button. Select buttons just to select word uh, at the end, or <coughs> if you wanna continue or close the game, that's pretty much obvious. <coughs> the graphics were good. We're talking about uh, the eighties. Um, I was. It was done at an 8-bit um, style, because that was the new thing on gaming by then. The music was decent. It could have matched the actual, the actual song, but again, we're talking about 8-bit, so um, it was a big advancement at that time. Um, the thing is the ending. Okay, so you have to do the museum four times because you're using one Ghostbuster at a time. The format of the levels, the only change for each Ghostbuster as far as it concerns. Um, yeah, I did have, I know you guys, um, you guys have a problem with this, the final showdown. It would have been great to have the Ghostbusters fighting Beagle, um, but there might have been reasons as to why they didn't do that. What they did at the end, though, is um, you pass the game with all four Ghostbusters. Then there's a news article that says, congratulations, you know, you're a hero. I'm not going to say it was a bad game. It was a good game, and it was something... Um, I mean, I remember Atari was the first system to come out, uh, come out, and that was in the 70s. And the graphics weren't nothing. There was no sounds in games. So, I mean, this is another step into gaming. Uh, as far as we know. Anyway, uh, if you like this video or any of my videos, you guys know what to do. Questions, concerns, comments, you can drop those in. Um, challenges, likewise. And like I say, take care and peace out. Hola a todos. Habla Diego Escauriza y en este video voy a hablar de el juego de los cazafantasmas segunda parte para Nintendo. <coughs> Recuerdo cuando era pequeño, esto jugué este juego, me gustó. Um, Los he oído rumores de lo, acerca de los controles de manejo um, y quiero decirles cómo consiste este juego.
los controles se basan en lo siguiente. Uh, las flechas son para manejar uh, los carros, los cazafantasmas, um, arriba, abajo, para manejar las armas cuando está uno en el, en el uh, nivel normal, o al igual que con la estatua, porque contro uh, controla las manos. Uh, el botón A es para disparar. Siempre ha sido P para disparar, pero en este juego es al revés. B es para saltar, pero solo cuando se escasa fantasma y, y se está en el carro. Uh, start. Hubo una gran crítica con los botones Start y Select. Aparentemente no hacían nada. Uh, eso no es así. Start. Activa las trampas. Pero la cosa con eso es, haber activado la trampa hay que moverse, si no, pues, eh, uno es sometido a guerra en, en tu propia trampa. <ríe> Perdón. Y si se le no hace nada, al menos que sea al final del juego, a ver si yo no continúo. <ríe> Las gráficas está, fueron hechas en 8 bits, en 8 bits, que era la nueva, um, la, lo nuevo en el área de juegos. Estamos hablando um, en los 80. Uh, la música se comparaba al track original, excepto que... Otra vez fue, fue uh, creada en 8 bits, por eso es que uh, suena como suena. Uh, el final, ok, no voy a mentir, el final es, pudo ser mejor. Um, No puedo describir esto. Para el final, um, se suponía que iba a haber un encuentro entre Vigo y los cazafantasmas. Pero, por razones algunas, no fue así. En el fin, um, de hecho, la forma en que pusieron. Um, La secuencia es terminar el juego, la última pantalla cuatro veces, porque cada vez es un caso fantasma diferente. Y ya al llegar, al, ya cuando todos están juntos, le disparan a Vigo. Uh, todos esperábamos que hubiera una batalla entre los cazafantasmas y digo como en la película pero uh, no fue el resultado el gran final es de que salió una edición de periódico declarando que el ganador del juego es el otro y en fin <coughs> todavía sigo creyendo que este es uno, uno de los mejores juegos que he jugado para Nintendo y, y Um, sin duda sea lo que sea es uno de mis favoritos um, si les gustó este video o cualquier otro de mis videos ya saben qué hacer um, si um, preguntas, comentarios sugerencias para retos o algo que quieran decir o contar déjenmelo saber en mis en mis um, en mi sección de comentarios y como siempre digo 
se despide Diego y hasta el próximo video.